you have uh, not like and subscribe the channel please uh, go to the google or youtube and search for the alien tag champion and you will open this um, uh, channel and since if you are new to this uh, channel uh, this channel is regarding anything related to the mobile operating system microsoft endpoint manager android windows or anything so please uh, like and subscribe the channel so that you will get the latest video we have um, so many videos here if you want to learn something more about mobile endpoints or any microsoft endpoint manager okay or any mdm tool so in this video i am going to uh, share you how how you can enroll your uh, devices uh, or endpoints like windows devices or mac os ipad os android ios devices so what are the enrollment options is available for all these uh, uh, that's first uh, and you see as a, yes, you can see my um, screen right or the video there are uh, you have to enroll your devices in stages right if you are planning to um, deploy any of these endpoints like windows devices mac os or android or ios you have to um, uh, uh, you have to uh, you have to approach some method in stages and of the identify of uh, certain certain of devices and enroll and and then then uh, if the devices meets certain criteria uh, then you have to mm, enroll a larger set of devices right so you have to follow the cert certain stages uh, starting from pilot if you are doing and then evaluate and then full deployment right so in in the in the pilot phase um, first you can evaluate actually you can identify uh, some of the endpoints like 20 or 50 devices for testing and then you can do is in the stage two you can do uh, the pilot testing uh, like if you see here uh, uh, and in, in the production and then in the full deployment you can enroll rest of the endpoints in the larger environment so if you let's talk about the, what are the enrollment option is available for android devices with microsoft intune and uh, as you can see here there are there are five five type of uh, enrollment option is available one for the, let's go one by one quickly so you see uh, these these are the features available like um, a google gms service should be there devices uh, are personal or byd whatever you call you have a new or existing devices these are the feature sets available uh you can see i will uh, i'll also attach this uh, or link i will give the, this link in in the video description as well so that you can download it as well and you see uh for buid we have two uh we have options like android enterprise personally on um uh, devices with work profile so if you want to use the personal devices with in tune with android enterprise in work profile you can use this enrollment options when when you can use these options you have a google gms service available you can mark these devices as a as corporate or personal but it's better to be marked as a personal i will show you how you can mark as a corporate normally it's it's, it's scope model but yeah you have new or existing devices you can use this method if you want to enroll a few devices or large devices you can use this method so if it's if if devices associated with, with the single user you can use this if you want to use the device enrollment uh, manager account you can use this the cross when a device is enrolled mdm provide install certificate other file this must be removed so if it's marked in red cross it means it's not recommended or you will not able to use this uh, these features for BOD devices for let's go to this another enrollment method which is actually android enterprise uh, dedicated devices which is actually for the company owned devices you can use this enrollment option when gms is available you can these devices should be enrolled using android, android enterprise personally owned devices with work profile so uh, this devices is actually it's not uh, used for the BYD devices and if you have this so you can go through all these details right i will just quickly uh, show you uh, what is actually android enterprise fully managed so it's a dedicated devices for the kiosk all right so you see here devices that are userless such as kiosk and it's marked as true green right and 
if you go to the full fully managed devices of course it will be company owned devices or you can also use for the company owned uh, personal owned devices you see what our option gms would be there i mean for china google uh, messaging service is not available so you can you you cannot use that uh, in china this method uh, these two method so <coughs> uh oh sorry uh, you key um, so you cannot uh, use this method so you have to another option is available okay so uh so you can see here all these informations here what you can do for this this is for boid um, and if you want to use uh, this method for boid if you want to use for the kiosk you can use this enrollment method if you want have a company on devices as i want to manage fully devices you can use this enrollment options if you want to uh, use corporate on work profile if you have a company on devices i want to use this so these three uh, can be used with the company on devices and this one you can use for the boid devices or personal on devices uh, the last one is android open source uh, project is you can use this enrollment option when devices does not support gms like some countries like china right so you can use this enrollment option specifically for china uh, and this can be used with work profile and and can be uh, uh, for boid devices as well right so you you can enroll one devices at a time right so these are the actually dim account is not supported so whatever mark in red or green you 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 can simply identify right it's it's, it's mark in cross so this means this feature is not available or it's not there with this enrollment method uh i will show you quickly in in the intune portal where you can find all these enrollment methods so if you as, as soon as you log in into the endpoint manager and go to the and go to the devices and let we have, we have shown about the android so if you click on and en enroll devices go to the enrollment method you will see all these uh, methods enrollment profile method is there right? you see a uh, bulk enrollment method zero touch if you want to use the enrollment method, uh, method which i have shown you those five method you see here one this is for boid which actually is first one corporate on dedicated devices right the second one this is uh, the third one and this is the four fourth one and these are the uh, aosp which actually uh, you can use for the china so this you see the five all fives are you can find it on the intune console here right so actually here it's six uh, so this this is actually for kiosk this you can use for the company owned devices this is for boid devices and these two for the china where gms service is not available so you can see all what all feature in one um, slides here so that you can decide which uh, enrollment method which option actually suits for your organization uh, in the next video i am going to show you for the ios and windows as well so keep watching and subscribe the video till then thank you have a good day